Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra, and I am your host Harsh Agarwal. In this video, we are going to learn something interesting. Just in case if this is your first time to my channel, well, Coin Sutra is all about bitcoins and cryptocurrency. On this blog, uh, you will learn everything that you need to know to buy your first bitcoin, where to store your bitcoin, and the amazing things that you can do with the bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Well, this is a new series, and in this series, I'll be telling you about hardware wallet. Uh, now, before we move ahead, at this question, where do you store your bitcoins? So, let's say you have purchased your bit bitcoin from CoinSecure, ZPay, Coinbase, uh, from any bitcoin exchange in the world. Where do you store your bitcoin? You know, one of the major mistake that most of us make, we keep our bitcoins in the exchange that we have purchased it from. And that's a big mistake because if something wrong happens with the exchange, like let's say it get hacked, you will lose your Bitcoin. And this has actually happened in the past. Uh, you can read about Mount Gox uh, Bitcoin scam. And that was a, that, you know, many people actually lost a great deal of earning just because they thought their Bitcoins are safe with the exchanges and which is not the fact. So here's the rule. Whenever you have Bitcoin, you should own your Bitcoin by keeping it with you. And that you can do by using a, a paper wallet, a hardware wallet, or a software wallet. What I recommend and what I personally use is hardware wallet because they are very safe. If you're storing Bitcoin for let's say five to 10 years, then you can you should definitely use paper wallet. However, the process is a little lengthy, but that is the safest way to keep your Bitcoin secure. Another most popular way to keep your Bitcoin safe is by using a hardware wallet. There are many great hardware wallet out there, Legion NOS, uh, Tracer, and many other. What I use is Legion NOS. And in the first video of this series, I will unbox the Legion NOS so that you know what all you can find in the box. In the next video, I will show you how to configure Legion Nano S. And as we move ahead, you can expect more tutorials on Bitcoin and Bitcoin security from me. So uh, without further delay, let's go ahead and check out the unboxing video of Legion Nano S. All right, guys, so here is Legion Nano S. And um, if you see here, this one I purchased at the North American Bitcoin conference in Miami. So usually Legion Nano S cost about 80 euro. I think I paid $50 when I was in US, I purchased three of them. And this is one of those Legion NOS. So let's go ahead and open Legion NOS and let's find out what all is there inside the box. All right, guys, so let's open the box and let's find out what's all inside our box. Okay, one more second and here we go. Right, so that's the first thing and says, did you notice there is no anti-tempering sticker on this box? And that's the first question which any one of us will have. Well, uh, they say like laser devices are engineered to be temper proof and it's very comforting. So, you know, if you, if you don't see like temper proof stickers, which usually, you know, when you buy anything, you would see they put a sticker here and they say like, if the seal is broken, do not accept blah, blah, those kind of stuff. So that is one thing you won't get with the Legion NOS. It's the first, first thing that you will see once you open your Legion NOS. And this is what Legion NOS hardware wallet is. It just looks like a USB device. And if you see it's engraved, the North American Bitcoin Conference 2017. So it's a limited edition Legion NOS. And I'm very lucky to have this with me. And let's go ahead. Everything is inside. So the, uh, I'll come back to this in a second. But first, this is the USB cable that you will be using to connect your Legion NOS with your phone or with your laptop. Uh, you can use any other USB device as well. However, uh, personally, I just I use the same USB cable instead of trying a random USB cable. Then you have. You have these things if in case if you want to carry your uh, hardware wallet with you everywhere like let's say if you're getting into serious into bitcoin business keychains will make it easier for you to carry your bitcoin hardware wallet well that's about it now this one is very important and 
when you open this you will see this so this one says my recovery phrase now once you the first time uh, when you start your leisure nano s well you need to note down your recovery phrase that's the seed word which will ensure you know even if you lose your hardware wallet you still own your bitcoin now one thumb rule is you note down all the seed, uh, recovery phrase over here keep it at a different place maybe a safer place maybe in a locker or maybe with anybody in your family who does who have no idea about what bitcoin is maybe your distant relative the point is you need to keep your recovery phrase as safe as you could i mean this is like the key to your bitcoins we'll talk more about this once i sh once i would show you how to configure your legend nos right so that's the recovery sheet now another one is even if you have no idea how to configure it, the very first thing that you would do, you just need to go to start.leisurewallet.com and follow the instruction on the screen. The first time when I was uh, configuring Leisure NOS, it was pretty easy. It hardly took me like about half an hour to configure everything. So it would be easier for you. Most important, once you start using Leisure Nano S, you would realize that uh, you don't have to worry about the security of your Bitcoin. However, of course, I don't want you to become reluctant, but at least you would start owning your own Bitcoin. So this Leisure NOS, this hardware wallet or any other wallet, uh, hardware wallet like uh, Trezor or KeepKey, you can use any of them. But if you are keeping your Bitcoin on exchanges or the places from where you are buying Bitcoin, like local Bitcoin, Purse.io or any other place, Please stop doing that. You might be putting your Bitcoin on risk. Well, that's all in the box of Leisure Nano S. In the next video, I would show you how to configure Leisure Nano S, what all you need to do. And do let me know how you like this video. If you have any question, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you like our video, do like and subscribe so that you stay updated with the all upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.